Hello everyone, if you have a similar problem to mine when you connect your Nexus 7 to your computer and you go to the device manager and that's what you get, unknown device and if you right click it and go to the properties it says in the description USB unknown here is what I did to fix it and you tried everything else of course just finished shooting the video and I thought of some things um, I should mention before we start uh, A. The phone is connected to power and the battery is connected so everything is live and working This is electronics, metal tools will short circuit everything It will burn, it will explode in your face Be very very careful, use plastic tools or just your hands and fingernails or whatever um, don't puncture our uh, band or whatever, just don't touch the battery because it will explode. Um, every single thing here is very very delicate. The tabs on those, the cable itself, the tab there, it will break if you stress it, even if not. The phone was, uh, the tablet was sitting on a shelf for two years, it stopped working by itself. So uh, be very very careful. I take no responsibility if you break something or burn something or if you get hurt, so um, you get it. Watch the press. So what I did to fix it and uh, what you may try if everything else fails. So first of all, turn off your device and don't turn it on. Um, probably best to disconnect the battery. This is the connection of the battery here. Don't connect your phone to the USB because uh, you know electricity and stuff. Um, this cable was the problem, and uh, probably not the cable, but those uh, connectors here and here because this is the part that gets the um, USB, and this is the main board where all the smart electronics are. So what I did, I just play with it a little, and it become and it just started to work but what you can do here I will try to zoom in a little bit there's a flap uh, there's a plastic protective film here above the the connector and there's a flap that you can lift with your fingernail after you lift it it just slides out the cable bam like this and uh, just slide it out on both ends you can do that it it's smart uh, smarter to do it in both on both ends so just pull it out come on it's sitting really tightly there okay it's out so just pull it out then put it right back in uh, as far as it goes yep don't use too much force don't bend the battery don't use force on the battery don't puncture the battery with your thingy and uh, close the tab like that oh, sh like that and now on the other side Maybe straighten that a little bit. And in it goes. After it went in, just close the flap like that. And bam. Now, what I also did, zoom out. I put some Captain tape on it so it won't move. Now, ah, just a second. So I will turn it on in a uh, in fast boot, so I could see it really recognize this the phone, the tablet. Ah, oh, come on. The buttons are tricky. Ah, 
come on. I uh, would just turn it on, whatever. Ah, silly me. Connect that. Whew. Turn it on in fast boot. Yes. Connect it to your computer. Look here. That it says. Just a second. Android phone. Yay! Zoom out a little bit. Open. Fast boot. Devices. Yay, it's working. Now. Zoom out. I will add some Capton tape to fix it in place so it won't move. Because it moved by itself somehow. And this is not good. Captain tape does not conduct electricity, so it's safe. It's uh, kind of strong and it's also somewhat heat resistant, so it won't melt or anything. And just another stripe. Level that out. Come on. Right here. Uh, have to push it beneath this. Yeah. All right. And that's it. Phone is working. Tablet. We'll try to fast boot. Re boo bang finished device is off and it turns on yay thank you for watching be safe don't uh, damage your tablet even more